Hey guys, Derek here again. Today I wanna to talk a little more about the gear related side of, of guitar and some of the stuff that you might need to start playing guitar on YouTube. So one of those things that I think you should have is a good guitar pick. So full disclosure, I did not play with a guitar pick for the first two years of me playing guitar. I think the main reason for that is because I had a tough time just holding on to the thing. So for the first two years, I just used uh, my fingers. I will say though, once I started playing with the pick, I did notice and realize the benefits of, of playing guitar with a pick. And so I do think people should learn to play with one. And so today's video, I wanna talk about what my favorite guitar pick is and how I came to that decision. So my favorite guitar pick guys is the Dunlop uh, Tortex pick. It comes in a package like this. Um, these ones are yellow. I also have them in black as well. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, but the yellow ones are nice because they stick out if you lose them. Um, sometimes the black ones, you know, I can't really see it on, on the black carpet or a black rug. The yellow ones, for the most part, are, are always going to stick out. And I like these picks, guys, because for me, what I do is mostly singer-songwriter, rhythmic, acoustic stuff. And I have found that these 73 millimeter Dunlop Tortex picks sound the best for me. But for you, it all depends on what kind of music you're playing and what your goals are. So, you know, they're, they make a ton of different picks out there. And, and a bunch of different materials. So they make them out of nylon, out of acrylic. They make them out of just a Delrin, which is a kind of plastic. Uh, these ones are made out of a, a Tortex plastic, which I believe is supposed to mimic the old guitar picks that were made out of a tortoise shell. I don't think they're allowed to make it out of that anymore for ethical reasons but they try to make it as close as they can because I guess back in the day, those guitar picks were some of the best guitar picks on the market. Dunlop makes really good picks. They also have a bunch of different thicknesses and, and shapes, but I think it depends on what kind of music you're playing. Bluegrass players, for example, typically will have a thicker pick because they like the stronger string response that it provides. So a thicker pick is gonna dig into the strings more, which will allow for more articulation within the, within the plane. If you're more of a strummer like I am, then a lighter pick will probably be better for you because it's more responsive and it doesn't dig into the strings as much. It kind of glides over them. These ones I would say are in the middle. I, I do do some picking as well. So I found that this is kind of a nice hybrid or in the middle option, but that's my favorite guitar pick, guys. Um, I've tried a bunch of different ones. I've tried the Dunlop uh, Gator Grip, I believe it's called. I like those ones as well. I've tried every Fender pick you can imagine. I've tried the Big Stubby picks as well. But yeah, guys, it all depends on what kind of music you're playing. My recommendation, if you are a uh, drummer and you do a little bit of picking would be the Dunlop 73 millimeter. One thing too, really quick, I, I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. Um, one thing I do, I mentioned that in the first two years of playing guitar, I struggled with holding on to the pick. So one thing that I read on a forum uh, that a guy did to kind of combat that is he actually would take a hole puncher and punch a hole in his pick. I don't know if you guys can see this, so I'll try and focus it in here, but I actually do that with with all of my picks, it helps because the what it allows you to do is your thumb and your pointer finger, when you have the pick in your hand, it allows a little bit of skin on skin contact, which just provides a little more grip with the pick. So it's not something you have to do, but it is a little cool trick that I have found that helps me hold onto the pick a little better. So yeah, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.